Okay, getting ready for my backpacking adventure. All right, hopefully this is recording perfectly fine. Okay, I don't wanna see any lag in the video, so you're gonna have to bear with me. Okay, so this is a website that, give me one second here, it's loading, you're gonna have to bear with me. All right, welcome to the wonderful world of Nicole. That's me. So uh, I built this website for me and my son. Um, welcome to the wonderful world of Nicole and Austin, a mother and son with telepathy. So me and Austin can hear each other. We can kind of communicate um, mentally, telepathically. So that's really the gist of um, the premise behind everything. Um, he was young when I put this together. It took me about three or four weeks. It's just using basic HTML and CSS. There's a little bit of PHP and a little bit of JavaScript in there, but not too much. Some of the basic stuff. So, but the, what I really want you to focus on is the colors, the design. You got some like Greek mythology going on up here with the hearts and the, the pillars. Um, I focus a lot on the four pillars of education in one of my other videos. It was for a school project. Uh, so, Let's go over some of the designs here and we can talk about the concept of the website. So I'm just going to click on the Crown Plaza and it's going to open to a new page. I was looking at this page before. Just give me two seconds. My Wi-Fi is not the greatest, but I have to I have to do it this way. I have to bear you're going to have to bear with me. I'm so sorry. Uh, I mean, no offense. Uh, OK, so the first um, design here that we have is the two castles. So I, you'll notice I can scroll over and you'll, you can see the other castle on the right side. You'll notice the music starts right away. It's Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy by the Nutcracker. So I'm just going to pause that right here. And if you take away this music icon, then there's a little boom box in behind it. Um, you'll notice the perfect tail on the unicorns. It's so that you can use the source files to continue the design and keep building. That's for anyone who wanted to onboard and start building too. Um, you can use stencils or outlines of coloring pages, but I did a lot of these just by hand um, based on things that I really love or things that I really loved in the past, anything like that, anything that brings um, good for more formation or unity or um, any kind of well-being to anybody um, in this sector, in this educational sector, in, um, for women empowerment, but also mothers um, looking to get into design, things like that. So women in unconventional roles, but also people with um, terrible causes. So, for example, we have the 400-year mission to save the cows. You can go through some of the things where we talk about animal cruelty and we want to we want to combat that. Um, there's also like a pen pal list. So anyone who wants to send me an email or um, text me using uh, the Text Now app. So it's not really my phone number. It's a different phone number, but it gets to me. Um, or you can send gifts to uh, my apartment, that kind of thing. Um, also, there's other things that you can play around with, like the horoscope portal. Um, I used astrology to put together um, horoscope, like zodiac um, traits. So essentially what this would be looking like is... Um, a continuous cycle of understanding the same traits, the characteristics as a horoscope, like star signs would have, but it's not giving you an updated list yet of a daily horoscope. So that would be something that would be automatically generated based on like the traits and the characteristics of the star signs. You can also go on, uh, there's a little shining star menu over here um, that brings up a navigation where you can learn a little bit more about me. Um, there's me in Austin. Um, there's my weight loss journey. You can learn about Austin if you just, um, this, this website's like designed for kids essentially. So you can learn just about Austin and his, like his mom. Um, there's photos in here about with me on them that if you can just, if you wanted to, um, use this website as kind of a way, like a tool to get, uh, comfortable online with people, with who you are, getting comfortable about um, sharing your your 
your passions and your interests without being afraid um, of being beautiful and then also being like sexy as well. There's also like different things that you can go on and read. There's like the monologues, different things like that that talk about um, things that might not be um, super kid friendly but are still spoken in a way that can be um, kid friendly but not um, favoritizing um, disobedience or anything like that. So I'm also going to click on audience here. So this is obviously for um, the audience. So these are guilds. This is where you can go and you can start like the guild is like a medieval association um, with different groups and people and things like that. So you can play, you can go and make your own website, like kind of like this. Um, you can choose different characters and you can play a role. So it's kind of like a cosplay role or you can just be yourself like I was just saying. Um, so your goal is to how to build a website, you start with your items inventory, um, so I have a passion for like painting or design or whatever it might be, clothes, whatever, and then you keep going with that and you can build a website and you have characters and everything like that. There's also things like the branding guide, so if anyone wants to learn how to design a website like the way I designed this website, um, there's some stuff on there like color codes and stuff that you can use that I use on the website frequently. Um, there's also Starlight's menu. So this, um, this whole website focuses on two um, alien earthling um, communication tactics because it is focusing on telepathy um, with me and my son. So we have Starlight and then we have Blue. So Starlight's menu or Starlight's vault would be like things like building a life, star games, crop circles, Disturbia, star magic, mind control, mind programming, mind reading, sensing, synchronization, telepathy, time travel, and warping and then if you look around we can look for um, let me see here I would have to find blues menu so I'm gonna just keep looking around we've got like the fortune teller here and you can actually like play with your fortune and we're gonna there's another I can change the background color and make a choice and it tells me my fortune we're gonna look for blues menu in another level in another map here so, and then I get a fortune, someone new will enter your life. Okay, there's also Eat Me. So there's also um, recipes that you can do. So there's chocolate chip cookies that you can make. There's also uh, sugar cookies that you can make. So there's lots of fun recipes and things like that that you can do. So um, I want to, there's my wish list of things that I want. What I'm going to do, treasures and games, merry-go-round, dun, 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 audience, stationery, oh, it's for the items inventory, wallpapers, we're going to get to wallpapers, learn, dun, dun, dun. entertain, Oh, feeding times for anybody that's going through pregnancy. There's feeding times there for you, too. Treasures. The treasures is going to be the big focus. You can see the little treasure box up here. You can click it and click treasures. And these are all the little treasure boxes that you can go around and find. It's, it's, it's a game for Austin. Um, you can find Austin's Gold, Austin Heights, um, Mary Mickey, um, lots of different. The Queen's Gold, the Star Signs, Star is the Sign. Um, you can find little treasure boxes around the maps and click them and see which one you found. And you can find them all and collect a prize. So, and the collecting a prize is what we're looking for is for blue. So, press here to marry me instantly. Okay. And then I get, yay, thanks for marrying me. And then you get a different prize there at the end. But what I'm looking for... We went to the soup kitchen. Okay, we're going to go to a different map. So this is, um, that's the Crown Plaza. Let's try Magic School and see if we can find blue in Magic School. We've seen Starlight's menu, but we're looking for blue's menu. All right, so here we've got the telepathy portal. So I can just click the telepathy portal and um, you can start learning about telepathic communication. Um, and it's a step-by-step -step guide on how you can learn how to do it yourself. It's just a really fun way. It's really kid-friendly. 
um, that you can practice mental programming, that you can practice communication um, styles, that it's really good for attrition and racism. Um, so things like that. So it allows people to work together. Um, again, we've got the cow, save the cows. It just takes you to the same page where you can read about the mission to save the cows and kind of stop eating meat, different things like that. Um, potions and spells is another one. Um, so a lot of people experiment and have a lot of fun putting together different kinds of um, potions in real life. That's kind of like DIY projects. A lot of families do it with each other. Um, so what we're going to do is put together ingredients lists and we're going to mix these to make um, different kind of potions that you can use. Carousel magic. I don't think we have anything set up for that yet, but that's okay. We're going to keep working on this paint ground. I haven't found blue. If I Again, if I click on uh, the queen's gold here, it should take me to a treasure chest, which takes me back to the, um, the fact that we found the queen's gold. So there's a little like treasure thing to say. Also, everything is deselectable. You're not, you can't select the text. It's, it, we're going to put a, um, a right clicking block on there too. Um, so that people can't actually um, use some of the some of the things that we're building. It's just a protection mechanism. It's nothing harsh, um, and it just lets people know that this is a like fun site that they should keep coming back to. Um, another one is another thing that's built by Blue, which is called Nicole's Heart. We're putting back together my heart. Uh, my heart's been broken, and uh, congratulations, you found a piece of Nicole's heart. Find all the pieces to put Nicole's heart back together. Um, and Broken Blue was a mess when he found out about Nicole's heart, so he launched a giant guild to help fix it. And then the story goes, um, it talks about Broken Blue a little bit, um, and Nicole means the name Victory of the People by definition. So you can go through, and if you scroll down, did you restore Blue? And that's because Blue's heart was broken over Nicole's heart. So, and then what? You did it. Congratulations. You now have access to Blue's menu because you restored his heart. You fixed him, essentially. And then Blue comes in like a superhero, like an astronaut. And if you scroll down, you can see all the cool things that he can do. So alchemy, invisibility, genius skills, clairvoyance, spotting, shape-shifting, sounding, human programming, data mining, future personas, technological communication, EMP powers, robotics engineering, moon language, data sharing, team building, telekinesis, genetic evolution, eyes changing, and perfect soulmates. So that's all the cool things that Blue can do. So that's really exciting. So that would be uh, they're storing Blue's menu. So if you win the game, you can do all that. There's also something called Midnight Magic, um, which uses a little bit of magic techniques to uh, help along the way. So you can get a candle, get a doll, get a mirror, a picture, incense, things like that. And you can start doing Midnight Magic. So that would be things like medium powers, um, talking to the dead, that kind of thing. So it's really good for genetic kinship and getting people comfortable with their own um, bloodlines and uh, talking about their family and their past and history and stuff like that. All right, so let's go back. And now we're going to open Pirate Island. All right, so the first thing you'll notice up on the top left hand is Austin's gold. So Austin's got a big treasure chest of gold, and it's very exciting. It looks beautiful. All right, so we're going to click on Lost and Found. And over on the left-hand menu, you'll notice that this this design is a little bit um, layout, laid out differently than the other two layouts. The other layout had um, one design in the middle. The layout before that had two castles. This one's got like a board section in the center, and then below we've got underwater, and then above all... Um, we've got the pirate ships. So we're going to focus on the top part right now. So we clicked on the lost and found. So the lost and found is when you go around the site and you have to find these charms and put your, your charm bracelet black together. Um, we also have the Aries Shaman where uh, you go to the Aries Shaman. You can do it every day and it gives you a new fortune every time you visit. So my instincts are telling me you should head to the Dreamcatcher portal. Um, and then you can go up to the Dreamcatcher portal up here, and there would be something else to play with. 
Um, searching for Nicole. This is Starlight's menu up here. She's got the programming, uh, mind reading, build a life, synchronization, sensing. And then the pirates have their own menu. So mind control, spawning, clairvoyance, telekinesis, and genius skills. So those are going to be what the pirates need to play with. We've also got the telepathy portal here, so you can keep playing with telepathy. Uh, the captain's cabinet, so there will be something for the captain to play with here. This is when um, we're looking for the captain's orders, and we have to follow the captain's orders. So the pirates stole Broken Blue's powers, and we have to put Broken Blue back together so that we've got Broken Blue's menu and Starlight's menu. And uh, the captain wants expert at three skills on the pirate menu. The captain wants a master at robotics engineering. And the captain wants one expert mermaid from the mermaid brothel. So you have to put those things together. And then you'll be able to figure out how to um, get blue his powers back. All right. And if we scroll down, you're going to see uh, the bank of Larry. You're going to see for robotics engineering. So when we click on that, we'll be able to do something with robotics engineering. Um, you're going to, if we click on geography, we've got the school menu here. So we click on ge geography, we've got the fact portal. So the fact portal is going to tell you everything you need to know about these topics. So geography, we've got the, um, the world's most coolest places. We've got all the oceans and all the continents, that kind of thing that they can go through. So any kind of like um, really good for young kids who love it. Over here, we've got another menu for the mermaids. Uh, the lyrics, poems, articles, sonnets, escorts, that kind of thing. Um, and that's going to go into the mermaid brothel. Um, and the sugar whale. So you'll notice if we click the sugar whale, we can go back up here. And there's a bunch of different candy that goes around. So Shimmer's Bonbon, Sparkle's Pink Candy, Festive's Favorite, Noelle's Lollipop, Sugar's Crown, Glitter's Gumdrops. And they can go around and they can find the candy and you can read up on each of the candies here. So there's lots of fun stuff that they can do around the site by just clicking on things and finding things. And that was by just clicking the sugar whale there. And then over here we can also switch maps. So the Crown Plaza, the Tea House, Space World, Magic School, Toyland, and they can go to different maps that way. We still have to create some of the maps. And all of this was created by me. Okay, one more map to go, and this one's laid out a little bit differently, and it focuses on different things. And that is the Discovery Center. So the Discovery Center is focused, a high focus on Nova Scotia. So you'll notice that we've got the Pirate Island for, like, Oak Island here. We've got the Discovery Center that's downtown. Um, we've got, I can't even think of the name of it right now, um, the Central Zone in Nova Scotia, this um, tower right here. I can't even think of it the name of it. It's, I'm blanking. But it's fine. There's a treasure chest there that takes you over to um, Pirate Island. Um, and we're just going to go through the Discovery Center. So these are going to be all the things that are on this type of design layout. It's, it's, a, it's more about reading. Um, so this is going to help kids practice with their reading. The, the actual reading of the material um, on this page, it's the perfect size, the perfect um, shape, the perfect um, white space, the perfect actual font that we're using, the text that we're using. Um, but what I want to focus on with you today is the Race Chronicles. So if I click on the Race Chronicles and the Art of Rejuvenation, it's going to take me to a book keep. So this is something that's technically designed to help you, um, you in reading a book. So you'll notice that I've got a book here that I've written myself. It's not done. I've only got one or two chapters written so far, but you can keep up with me on reading it um, through the book keep. So I've got the chapters that I can click on, or I can click on the pages. So the chapters or the pages. And then the pages, I could take you to page five. And here I have page five, or I can just go next and it'll take me through. And I can actually read the book, or I can read it based on the chapters and just take me back home. And that's just for the whole book. And it, go, and it shows what's in progress and what's going in. There's, it goes all the way to chapter, I don't know how many chapters there are. But it just goes to show. Okay, so that's so far the design. All of this is brought to you by Alien Incorporated or Alien Inc., but I don't actually um, have everything.
put together for that, so I have to call it Alien Computing. So it's Alien Computing, Inc., but it's actually my focus is... Let me see if I can get it for you down here. It's a little alien icon here. I actually, let me bring it up in um, Photoshop so that you have a good, clear um, resources available around the world. There's different currencies. You can get tax currencies, tax slips to um, be approved, approved in a different country to mine in their currency. Um, there's trading. There's cold storage trading is what's kind of popular right now.
right? So mining in different currencies would look something where you would get different, um, you would get a tax credit in that country where you have the ability to mine their currency. So when you're mining resources in a different country, you can actually mine in that country's currency. And it wouldn't be such an issue. But I can't bear the wait time for this. It's taking so long. So that, this is what that would be like. I have Canadian citizenship, so it showcases that I have Canadian citizenship. It showcases that I'm legally, I have a certificate to be able to mine in the US dollars. So that's kind of what that would be like. starting of this project and going over everything with me. I appreciate you and I look forward to seeing you in the future.